Hi and welcome back to my channel. For today's vlog, we will share our scuba diving experience at Atlantis de la Palm, Dubai. The lost city of Atlantis, Ambassador Lagoon. We took the dive discovery package which is for non-certified divers aged 10 years and above. Inside the Atlantis Dubai. This aquarium is considered as United Arab Emirates' largest aquarium. The stunning 11 million liter aquarium is home to an incredible array of sharks, rays, and colorful fish. We are now here at the diving site. This is the top of the aquarium. We are excited to go scuba diving. After the professional divers have briefed us, we are now inside the aquarium. And for your information, I'm not a certified diver, so bear with me. This is my second time for scuba diving. At first, I had a hard time equalizing pressure in my ears. These are the underwater suites of Atlantis de Palm, Dubai. Staying here would be an incredible experience. Float the evening away in your marble bathtub with views of the Ambassador Lagoon. A mesmerizing view as sharks, rays, and fish glide right past your bed. My ears feel better now, let's continue diving. This is a home to more than 65,000 marine animals across 250 different species. All are living harmoniously in the Ambassador Lagoon, a breathtaking space inspired by the lost city of Atlantis. Spotted my husband now. We are not yet professional divers, so certified divers must be with us as per Atlantis policy. Note. You can't fly for 24 hours after diving or go beyond 6,000 feet above sea level. Doing so will result to decompression sickness, so better book this activity after going high buildings in Dubai such as Burj Khalifa. Keep it as close to nature as possible, they use natural seawater from the Arabian Gulf, which has been filtered and sterilized. The artifacts representing the lost city of Atlantis replicate the hiding places fish would use in the wild. The aquarium has sharks of varying sizes across 11 species. The sharks coexist harmoniously with the smaller fish. This is indeed an amazing experience and a must-do. 
compare with the ocean, this will let you see 250 different species within just approximately 30 minutes. This costs approximately $480 per person. This is worth it for marine life lovers, especially for non-certified divers who would love to experience swimming with a large variety of sea creatures in just one go. This is the end of diving, which lasted about 30 to 35 minutes. It really takes hard work to manage this incredible aquarium. People start work at the break of dawn in order to carry out inspections and assessments before the guests arrive. Once the assessment is done, they'll know which tasks to focus on for the day. This can be anything from maintenance needs and cleaning the windows to engineering checks. Then they prepare for the morning feeding and the afternoon feeding, which are crucial to maintaining the optimal health of the animals. In the wild, sharks can last for up to one month without having to feed. But at the Lost Chambers Aquarium, these apex predators are fed on a daily basis to create a harmonious environment within the aquarium. So how do sharks coexist with the smaller fish in the oceanarium? The species of sharks that would pursue these reef fish are usually bottom dwellers like the zebra sharks or the guitar sharks. And the fish are easily able to seek refuge if pursued, thanks to the relics representing the lost city of Atlantis. As for the midwater dwellers, the small fish show up to confuse the shark and avoid predation. They are also fed more often than they would in the wild, keeping them satisfied. Depending on the species of the shark, they are either target feed by hand or scatter feed from the surface of the water. Some species of sharks include brown banded bamboo sharks, Arabian carpet shark, and zebra shark. Variety of stingray species include Kauno stingray, eagle ray, marble stingray, and porcupine stingray. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow me on my IG page. Thank you.